Well, it's another part of American Scale and GBA. This time we're going through for the rest of the career mode as we're doing the Vans Skate Park. So, here's this shit to start things off. It's uh, amazing. The carpenter here will allow us to actually go and, you know, complete more of the warehouse by finding some tools of his. Some bolts, some nails and such. And uh, there are five in each of the four areas. So we have one of them right now. So there are five here around this bowl. Uh, this one's a little bit awkward, but I get it anyway. And uh, the other 15 are in the other three areas we've been to so far. Downtown, Hollywood, and school. By the way, there are two shop areas here, and they're both skateboards. One is normal skateboard, which is where we can change our boards. We can choose the custom, we can choose any of the pre-made ones, like the, uh, I guess, the Pro Skater 4 board there. A lot of these boards are just like the same boards you've gotten from previous GBA games, so nothing's really new here. However, when you get into the other option, the other option showcases both the ability to edit our board and our shoes, which haven't locked any new shoes yet. But yeah, it's the same board editor as it was in every other GBA version, so... Eh. Very forgettable. Anyway, back in uh, downtown, these ones here, the nuts, they're around in the oval area. And then you sort of exit the oval area from this side here to get the last one. Right there. Next up, I believe, is school or uh, Hollywood. It's Hollywood. So next up, Hollywood. These are, I believe, the nails. Just go ahead and, you know, grab them. They're around this little uh, area here, which you would recognize a little bit from the main game. And, uh, yeah, it just ends off at the road here. And lastly is school, which has these, uh, I forgot what they're called, but they're the gold bolts, I'm gonna call them. And, uh, the gold bolts, they are essentially going to be around this little area of school. Just grab them, and then you'll get this message. I am perfectly adept in the skater again, you know, the old warehouse pre-built. Right here you can find some more skaters to you out. By that means the vans area, and the boat has to upgrade again. So I'm not going to go ahead and just, you know, head back to vans, in which we're going to be getting a bunch of our new objectives here, which there are quite a few of. So let's begin. Joanne here wants to get a 40,000 point trick? Well, that's fucking easy. We have this grind here. All I gotta do is pull it off correctly. We haven't exactly explored vans, you know, proper yet, so we're going by the five minutes now. But, um, yeah, for the most part, this isn't a big one. This is a fairly compact area, much like vans was in the uh, actual game. It's just a very smallish area. And believe it or not, we can actually complete three goals in one go, because one of these requires us to get the gap here by grinding around this bowl, and another one requires us to get the special overturn grind happening at any point. Tony here will be talking to us about the special moves we have, uh, the three out of four of them we have, in fact. And considering, you know, all of these are 40,000 points, get a gap, and do the special grind, it becomes pretty easy when you realize that all we really need to do here is just do the special grind around this bowl, get the gap, get the combo going 40,000 points, and that is three goals done in one go. Here's the overturn. If I land this now, that's Tony's goal done. If I land it now, that's the mini pit grind goal done. And uh, I got enough points to actually get the 40,000, so yeah, we get a bunch of stuff out of this. And uh, yeah, that's one of the easiest ways you can handle that shit. Afterwards, uh, there's going to be more of Tony's stuff. Again, they're all sort of trick stuff. So one's going to be like a double backflip thing. And the other one's going to be like the kickflip backflip thing. And the other one's going to be a um, another trick one. There's one grab one, I think. And the other two are flip trick ones. There's no manual flip tricks like, as far as I can figure out. Anyway, over here, a strange uh, panty bar is around the pool for some reason. Um... Yeah, that's totally a candy bar, guys. Totally a candy bar. Anyway, uh, the carpenter looks normal again, so that's good. 
around here is not a gap requiring us to run around the edge of the quarter pipe, which is this grind here. You will end up getting uh, this uh, side called Slingshot. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, honestly. And around here requires 55,000 points. Which, uh, you know, as long as you use a good spot, you should be fine. At this point, you should be using the grind special because that shit will make these score goals a joke almost. There you go. Alright, next up, there are empty cans all around. At least eight of them. I'm gonna find six immediately. I kind of forgot what the last two are. We'll begin the last two soon. Uh, but right now, I'll also take care of this goal here with this guy. 70,000... 70,000 points. Uh, this goal is going to be easy as well because I can just, you know, use these ramps here and do the special tricks and such from this. Which does! I wouldn't say that these are the most rewarding ways to gain the score, but it does help out in a way. The overturn, however, is incredibly broken though, so... I choose to go for this option. And, you know, it would be cool to know what all the gaps are for this level and such, to know how many gaps are in this level. But again, no gap checklist, so why fucking bother? Anyway, the lower 40, choose either of those ramps to grind on, it's the same gap. There you go. After that, uh, there is also Tony here, who is going to give us one more to, to take care of, which is, um, yeah, the Kip Up to Indy. Don't get to Indy. So this is one of the two Quick Trick ones, and, um, this one's going to be, eh. I think some of these tricks, if not all of these tricks, are from previous GBA Tony Hawk games, so nothing really new here of this shit. Where it's not surprise anyone considering American Wasteland did not give a shit about the specials either. It's like the very last goals of the game, so yeah. Not a huge surprise here. The jump cutting time, because now we're taking care of Tony's next one, which is the last one, which is what we just did beforehand, the flip backflip, which is just this. And there you go. Bunch of stats upgraded, so the stats are like any fucking tent to be getting out of doing those tricks and stuff, whatever. Anyway, this one here is a little awkward, you can't go fast this one, otherwise you'll jump straight over the grind. You gotta be kind of careful about that one, but there you go, get the crisscross, get the goal done. Uh, Brett here is saying nobody was able to grind up top of that grind upwards. Um, this grind's easy, I have the stats for it too, so, done. Run all the way, get the, ma the major pit, and that's it. And so now that's a lip balance stat right there, okay. There's a can, by the way. I believe the last can should be over here. So, uh, we'll begin the can goal out of the way now. Again, as long as you don't leave the level or go to Mindy yet, the goals stay. The goals will stay and not get reset at any point. Alright, now you have to go and find some skateboard parts. A board, a truck, and some wheels. Or well, at least one wheel, because there are only three parts around. There's the board right next to him. Okay, dude. Over here is Steve, wanting us to get two gaps, which is all just jumping across the back of these poles here, for over and up and up and over. So, um, yeah, easy shit. And then the wheels are right next to Steve here. And lastly is the trucks, which, the way that this is lined up, you can see it's like a small little dot of a shadow there. That is not where the trucks are. The trucks are here. Everything about that collectible there is fucked, and I don't like it. It's stupid, and it sucks. Anyway, we are nearly done advanced now. Uh, I, I'm not joking. We're nearly done now. Here's Mindy. Talk to Mindy. That's a goal there. It's 17 goals done. We're also looking, looking really good so far. You know what it needs, however? 
people are stuck into paint fights. Eh, need some of those truck trailers, you know, getting removed. And we have someone that can help us out. He's right here, in fact, in the amateur contest that's happening. Our, our Tony's Bunny Andrew Reynolds will be doing the judging for it. There are no competitions in this game, like, at all. There's no free-run contests. So even though it's looking like you're gonna get into a contest considering this is the contest area, no, Andrew here just wants you to go over to the final area, essentially, and uh, talk to somebody who will happily take care of taking care of all the trucks. And, uh, yeah, San Francisco is now unlocked. So, yeah, no competition. San Fran, by the way, or by downtown, go to the very top left area, and there you go. Here's San Fran. And as soon as you enter, the guy will be right here at the bridge. Done. That's Dylan, there's his keys, and there we go. The warehouse is now more complete. It is almost fully complete, in fact. So, now, we gotta take care of San Fran. We have a good amount of goals to worry about here. Let's go ahead and take care of them, shall we? San Fran is also a very big area, and it has the hardest goal in the game. And by hard, I mean the most fucking unfair goal in the damn game. I hate the goal I wanted to do here. It sucks. But first, kick flip over the manhole. I can easily do that. It's a small little hole. Kick flip over, get the gap here called manhole jump, and there you go. Easy. Next all involved in that will be doing a grind over it. Again, the manhole grind goal. Uh, a gap out of the way. Anyway, over here, do a gymnast plant, which is up uh, over on this building here for stuck, struck, stiff. And then comes this goal. Well, they want you to do a giant jump over these bleachers in order for you to actually take care of a gap, and you have to do it with an overturn. The jump is right there, and I'm telling you right now, if your stats currently, you are just barely gonna make it. You can get some, you know, ups on it. You can upgrade yourself a bit more to make it a bit more easy. But unfortunately, this jump is going to require luck because this jump is really fucking hard. Like, I'm not joking that when I've done it, like the few times I have, the grind doesn't even work. You just sort of land on it. So not only do you have to make the jump, which is already quite a fucking task, you gotta make sure the game's grind actually works. There are two spots to grind for, the top part which gives you a lot of height, ultimately, and the bottom part which is easier for you to actually get onto, you know, grind on and such. The issue is not much height out of it, but it might give you the distance, maybe. It's completely fucking random, and there is a timing to it, but the timing is such a bullshit fucking thing to deal with that the goal is ultimately a bastard to work with. Anyway, I take care of the gap here. It's not that hard to take care of, honestly. Done. Just kidding, though. There are multiple manholes, because that was manhole one. In fact, there are three manholes. Go find all two, of, all three of them, Grind all around them for the gaps, and that's it. Easy. And that's giving us pants. We'll be going and looking for all these unlockables very soon, by the way, because these goals here are our last goals. Once we complete these goals, essentially we will be done with this fucking, like, main goal shit for all the unlockables. That's not a joke, by the way all of the unlockables. Because once you complete these, all the pants, the shirts, the fucking hairstyles and shit, they'll all be unlocked and I will go through and show you them. But right now, here's a goal here. Jen here wants us to not have spin the fire hydrants, which there are about like five of them of. And uh, yeah, that was number five right there. Number one is over here. Well, number four is over here, I mean. So, yeah. 
Five hydrogens to take care of. There's also 65,000 point com uh, trick combo here about breaking a sweat. I somehow found a grind spot here. What? I didn't know this was a grind spot. Did you know that was a grind spot? I didn't fucking know it was. Well, it is. And <laughs> it's not gonna be the last time we see a weird grind spot in this game. In case you're wondering, there's a gap here, by the way. That was what I was aiming for. It's just, I somehow found that when I was going for the fountain grind gap to make that easier for me. I just, what the fuck? Also, that fish had to jump for it. And uh, the tanning booth is now available. So, we now have unlocked all of the shops, essentially, because the tanning booth is essentially to change our skin color. Also, these two goals here all involve the barge. I think you can fail when you fall in the water, which I didn't every time. Here's the cat. You don't get the cat back, just get the cat, and that's it. Run around this shit, however, and you will get the barge grind gap. And that's it, that's how you complete that one. Get the barge grind gap, and that is how you complete that goal. And the barge you now you can just leave by going in the water. That puts you right back on land. Easy. Here's some more hydrants right by where that was. And, you know, here's another goal over there by the final hydrant. 90,000 points. Oh boy, that's quite a fucking big one. Add some more hydrant later on. Uh, but right now, 90,000 points is a lot until you realize if you use the overturn grind on any of these fucking manholes, um... You can break this goal. You can just completely destroy this fucking goal by essentially taking any of these manholes and doing this. And not only are you getting a lot of points out of this, but that combo is growing. And if you kept going, you can get to a million out of that. So, um... Yeah, if you're wondering how to essentially break any of the high score goals here, use the manholes. Those are the best spots here to get a shit ton of points. I nearly got a million again out of that. So yeah, there's the last one, by the way. The kids are cooled. Now then, over here, 75,000 points. That's easier than the last one, which is 90,000. I can do this one without even needing the fucking overturn special trick. Fucking bitch boy goal right here. Done. Alright. Then I'm gonna over to this guy over here who will tell us to grind the bridge. And by grind the bridge, he means grind the wire, the red wire of the bridge. <clears throat> Get up here easily, use the kicker up on the very edge here of the bridge, and then you can just jump up, grind it, and then grind all the way through. The game will give you, you know, infinite speed in the way to get around this for the bridge grind gap. And just land that, and that's it. Easy. And now, now it's time for this one. The fire chief is pissed about the hydrants. We can avoid it by grinding through the Lombard Street, not to bottom. Grind the flower bed, and then grind the flower bed from the top to the bottom for a gap, and that gap will be the goal. So, um, yeah, easy. Either of these beds, by the way, will count as the goal, so yeah. And now, this guy. He'll flip on the rails uh, over here for this gap, as well as the trick done. Uh, in order to get San Francisco treat, piss off the neighbors, I guess, got a board out of it. And now it's time for this fucking goal. So you're probably thinking it's this, right? To get the San Fran bench hop? No. No. The gap is where I was going for beforehand, and I managed it right here. The bleacher grind gap. It is such a giant ass jump, and it really sucks, and you're gonna be there for a while. And guess what? The, sp the stats that really mattered there, the speed and the ollie and all that shit, yeah, that one gave you your fucking ollie stat, your last one. And this one should give you the last stat you're needing 
Airwalk over for the Brownstone Airwalk for the air stat. There you go. And now here are all of the clothing that I've unlocked. This is every piece of clothing in the game, by the way, uh, for the male at least. I'm not playing as female, because, you know, there's no point in doing that, honestly. There's no sex change, quick sex change option to, like, change to the next person anyway. But hey, this is for the most part what the clothing all looks like, so you got the gist of it anyway. They're all going to be pretty much the same. And as for hairstyles, there are only, you know, two, honestly, and they change color. And the tanning is literally the same skin color options have gone beforehand. Anyway, Mindy here got a publisher, and the publisher will happily release the comic, so that's cool. However, we need to have a, co a comic cover of all the majors, skaters, of a lot of pros, at the warehouse. And, you know, the cream of the warehouse would be perfect, honestly, so that would be great. However, uh-oh, what the fuck? There's no uh-oh. Unfortunately, the story of, you know, American Wasteland kicks in, and the place is getting so much like American Wasteland did. So, we gotta save it. How do we save it? Well, we have to find Tony Alva. And, uh, how do we get Tony Alva? Well, there is someone who knows Tony Alva, and it's not Tony Hawk, it's Rodney Mullen. So, Rodney's here, and he's over at the bottom left corner of this map. So, we gotta go over there and see him, and he'll tell us all about Tony Alva, and uh, how we can summon him, essentially. Before American Wasteland, we had to go and talk to three of Alva's posse to summon him, and that was just to get into the oil wick and such, to get to uh, our good buddy, you know him. But, um, in this one, no, we just summon him in order to go and save the warehouse somehow. And how do we do that? by finding all of his old-school gaps. Now, what are these gaps? I've actually done a Google search with this after the fact, and I found a lot of people don't know where these gaps are. The good news is the game does hit you, because around all five of the areas of this game, there were these weird signs. Those signs are Alva's fucking logo. There's old school Francisco. All you gotta do is find the signs and then just grind or what have you on them. It's not just a grind thing. Also, there's the other hairstyle. Obviously, I have long hair, so I gotta choose that one, but it doesn't really look anything different on the model itself. So, yeah. Anyway, there's old school downtown's gap right there. Uh, San uh, Van's uh, gap is over here. You can see the signs right there. The only real confusing one is going to be the school one because what it wants to do is grind the middle right bench here and then grind all the way up the stairs and then at this point you will get old school school. It's a bit weird to be a while to figure it out. I'm not a fan of that one. The rest are easy though. This one's the time you actually have to jump for it, which is for the Hollywood one. And Alvin's just here now. He just speaks to us across the plains of reality, I guess, from our minds. And he tells us about, you know, all the old times and shit. And somehow, the warehouse now completed because we found Alva. And, uh, I'm gonna go in and shuffle the shoes, which are just recolored up the same shoes. Only four colors, though. And that's it. That is all of the customization options. You've gotten all the boards, which is like 10 of them. You've gotten all of the, you know, outfits. You've gotten the hairstyles. We've gotten everything in the game. So now, all we have left is the warehouse. And if I'm going inside the warehouse, we will find Mindy, who will give us our ending. And the warehouse is done. Wait until Tony sees this. It's gonna... They can flip. Do a kickflip, in fact. Mullen's here. Hulk's here. Alva's here. We got Alva here, motherfuckers. And this place is like a second home to him. So, you know, it can't be destroyed. Can't let the fucking Super Bowl come in. And yeah, here's Skateland. Skateland is just a warehouse. That's all this is. It's a skateboard warehouse. Wasteland was an actual park area, a giant park area of a skate park. Whereas this, 
this is just a warehouse that I think is similar in a sense to what, you know, Tony actually has, like a warehouse of a skate park. Anyway, now we have more goals. Our last goals, in fact. This, this credits I'll show off later on at the very end. But, um, yeah, now we have goals here. In fact, these are our last goals of the entirety of story mode, in that there are eight goals. One of them, I think, is talking to Mindy, which will give us, you know, one goal done, because we beat story mode, essentially. And the rest of these goals come after we talk to Mindy. So, all these goals are score goals. And there are only eight goals in the warehouse. If you check that at any other point in the game, it would say zero out of zero. But if you check from when you actually complete the warehouse and you essentially beat the game, it becomes zero out of eight. So, yeah. The rest of the goals only appear after you essentially beat the game. And all of these are just beat certain scores. That's it. The aftermath of story mode, the basically the ending of story mode, is just get enough points and that's it. And the thing is, there's only one real good spot to get points in, and it's this spot right here I'm showing you. Because you can use this spot and then use the path afterwards as a manual spot for you to actually get a shit ton of points. And you'll need it because these points really fucking grow. They grow to about close to half a mil. So, you're gonna need a lot of points to take care of this shit. And this spot is the best. The rail wrapper gap and all. You can utilize this to ascend to get shit done. And, uh, yeah. Next up, over here, is Mike. 200,000 points. We're about halfway done with all the goals now. And, uh... Yeah, all, all you're seeing is me doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And that is how it's gonna feel doing these goals, really. It's just doing the same shit over and over again, getting the points needed. They're increasing by like 50,000 points each. That's not a joke. It's not 250,000 points. So, yeah, it, it's just 50,000 each time. The last one is 350,000 points by Tony Hawk himself. So, yeah, Tony Alva was the easiest, it was like 70,000 points or whatever. And Tony Hawk is the hardest. He's the final one. That's day one done. And uh, next up, over here, is Paul. 300,000 points. The cameras are now on us. Somehow there's cameras here. I'm guessing we're finally shooting the pro video, I guess, to save the place. Even though the place should apparently be saved in a way, but I guess not. Somehow the story ends before the place is saved, because we're just now making the video. But whatever. I, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway. After being Paul, all we have left is Tony. And Tony here will tell us we've gone a long way since we first met in Coho's. Let's see him go all the way by beating his high score of 350,000 points. First of all, they put shark ponds here for some reason. Why? I don't fucking know. Second, there is a gap here with a name that I have to show you. Because even though I'm not going to find all the gaps in this game, there's no fucking way I am just leaving this without showing you the name of this gap here. There's no fucking way. And this gap is Joseph Stylin. I don't know what was going on in the minds of Vicarious Visions when they made this. I did not expect them to make a Joseph Stalin reference in any fucking gap in a Tony Hawk game. But they fucking did. And you know what? I am gonna be Stalin through this one because I'm ending this in the way it should be ended. Not with 350,000 points, but with 1 million points. Like so. A big ass combo, and there you go. We will now be known as the best of Skateland. Look at that. 
almost one million and five, like one and a half million points essentially from that one combo. And that's how you've been done in story mode. And guess what? You get nothing out of that. There, there's nothing you get from that. So we're leaving now. We're not done yet because we have classic mode left. And the thing is, classic mode, I'm telling you this right now, also has nothing to it. Also, there was never a moment where I had to get off my board. There was a get off your board option in this game by double tapping the grind button or the, uh, the jump button. No point to it. Like, at all. But it's here, I guess. Anyway, we got all these pros, got all these levels now. I'll be going for classic mode next time, and that is actually going to be the last part, too, because there's literally nothing else to get from this. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the final part of GPA Skateland.